right, welcome back everybody. Bummer's Barbecue again. But today we're gonna talk about this little button right here. P setting, been using it here lately. Did a little more research on it. So let's get her turned on. Let's get her set to the smoke set. And you see with the pit boss, it automatically goes to P4. So let's get this thing fired up here a little bit. We'll start discussing different ones I think I got a few charts I can show you might help you out but let's get this open and get her going all right well she's fired up pit boss going good uh, so we're talking about the P setting what is actually the P setting it's actually for pause um, I was doing a good bit of research it's in the pit boss manual when you do it and everything. But I watched a couple videos that did have some misinformation on them. Um, it's only gonna work if you have it on the smoke setting. You set it to any of your actual temperatures, 200, 225, 250. That's gonna feed your pellets based on the internal temp, temperature, whatever you wanna call it, temp temperature of the grill itself. On the smoke setting, you can change your P setting to how you want. The higher you set your P setting to, the longer there is a pause in between it, pushing more pellets in. It's defaulted to P4, which is normal. Um, here, uh, I think I'm gonna put the chart right here that'll explain the, the timing in seconds. Uh, the higher you set it to, it'll push the pellets out it waits longer before it does the next push. The lower you set it to, the quicker it pushes pellets out. So if you got it set on zero, one, two, you're gonna have higher temperatures, but less smoke. If you have it on P6 or seven, eight, I think it goes up to nine, uh, you'll have a lot lower temperatures, but more smoke because it's gonna push the pellets in, the auger will, they're gonna smolder some more. But you could have some problems with it being at the higher because it's not looking for temperature, it's just pushing pellets out. If you got it set to P8 or P9, and before that next, whatever the time frame is, however many seconds, uh, it pushes more pellets out and you happen to get a burnout and your, your fire and flame goes out, you're just gonna get a big old pile of pellets in the middle of your pit boss. You're gonna have to vacuum out or pull out by hand one of the two. But we're gonna test the temps on these here. Like I said, I got it set at P4 right now. I'm gonna let this run for about, oh hey look, right at nine o'clock. I'm gonna let this run for about 10, 15 minutes. See what the temperature evens out at. Then we're gonna change the P setting and see what else we get. Well, let's see. It has been almost 10 minutes. P4, we're running at 195. Off and on, got a little bit of smoke. But hey, let's see what we get. Let's change this up now to, I'm gonna change it to P7, kind of in between. Don't want it to burn out. Hopefully it won't burn out, but I told you that could happen. So it's now 910. I'm gonna give this 15, 20 minutes, see what kind of temps we get then. All right, I let that go for another, what is it, 21 minutes. And you can see it dropped some, about 10 degrees. Bet if I set it higher, it'd go down lower. Um, here, let's give it a test. Let's try, if it burns out, it burns out. Oh, no, seven's as high as I can go. Yep, seven's as high as I can go. I thought it'd go higher than that. So, can't do, yeah, I thought I'd set it to nine. But hey, let's go down to P1. Set it four, doing about three either side. So, see what kind of temps we get here in a little bit. All right, it's been a little more than 20 minutes. As you see there, P1 got me all the way up to 210. 
so you can see the swings and settings. If I had food on here, if I had a fully loaded, a lot of food going on it, temps would probably be a little bit lower, you know, the food absorbing the heat. But right here at the end, toward the end of it, uh, I'm gonna put the charts up for you. I put some little, uh, I probably linked them in a little bit earlier. So I'm gonna leave them here for a few seconds more at the end if you want to screen capture it or something um, on the timings and how, how the P setting works. But big thing to remember, it only is going to work on the smoke setting. If I set this to P7 and I turn it up to 250, that P setting's gone. Once you come off smoke, it's going to run off how often it's going to feed the pellets by the temperature. Only on a smoke setting will the P work for you. So, I'm not going to burn any more pellets up, figure out what else I'm going to smoke today. Make you another video. Alright guys, enjoyed it. You have a great day. Love you. Stay safe. We'll see you next time.